So it's important for people of Cappadocia to really listen to that for true hunger and not have breakfast until they're really hungry. And I've noticed quite a lot of people of this type are actually better off with two meals a day, say mid-morning and then early evening. It's also really important to keep things moving with some brisk exercise and definitely no day sleeps or siestas. So winter and late spring can be really cold and damp and this is a time of year when kaffir can get easily unbalanced. So the warming spices like black pepper and ginger can be really helpful to counter this and also using the dry heat of saunas. Looking at kaffir's tendency to want to hold on, uh, spring can be a really good time to get rid of things you don't need, so have a good spring clean. And lastly, looking at holidays, this type are best off going to warmer, drier places. So somewhere like Morocco would be ideal. So I hope you've enjoyed hearing some tips on how to keep Cappadocia warm and energised through some diet, herb and lifestyle suggestions. If I was to sum up three bits of advice for this dosha, it would be to keep shaking things up, to practice letting go and to connect with the warming element of fire.